Hi, I'm Tim Jones, owner at Accelerate Computer Training. I also teach the Dreamweaver classes here. There's a feature I want to show you that you would learn in our three-day Dreamweaver class. It has to do with using templates in Dreamweaver. Now, templates are fantastic in that they allow us to speed up the process of creating pages and of maintaining those pages because of the dynamic link that's created between a Dreamweaver template and an actual page. But they also can get in the way of trying to individualize certain pages. For example, if we're trying to create this effect where the graphics, the background image behind any one of these tabs will change when we go to that particular page, but we still want to have all of the tabs in our navigation bar be part of the uh, uneditable regions of the template, we're going to have to use what are called template properties. The result is pretty nice. Notice as I jump to the quotes page, the image changes. Likewise, each individual page uses an alternate version of the image, the active version of this little tab graphic, and the others switch to the inactive graphic. Well, each of these is inside a div tag, and the div tag is classed as either tab active or tab inactive. Here's how you do it in Dreamweaver. In the template, click inside the div or the element that you would like to be able to modify on a page-by-page -page basis, and then select that whole element. Down here on the tag selector is the easiest way to do it, in my opinion. And then we're going to go up to Modify, Templates, Make Attribute Editable. It's the class attribute that we're trying to make editable. And you can see over here in the code that right now this div is classed as the tab active class. And all the others, quotes, detective kid, and contact us, are classed as tab inactive. We want to make that, at, that attribute editable so that on each individual page it can be changed. The label has to be unique. So I'm going to call this first one home. Tell it that it uses an attribute value of text type and set that value to tab active. Now the layout falls apart a little bit in design view because you can see that over here in code view what it's doing is it's changing the class attribute value to something that's not static. It's going to be dynamic. We'll do the same thing for the other three divs, changing the attribute to be editable. We'll give this one, let's see, that was the quotes tab, so we'll give it a label of quotes and set its initial value to be tab inactive, likewise with the other two. Next, we'll save the changes to the template. That will broadcast them out to the individual pages. And then we can go to those pages and start setting the desired values for those class attributes of the four divs. Save the template. Update the pages that are based on the template. I have a couple of them already open here. I'll switch into the quotes page. And we'll say, regardless of where we're clicked, because as you know, we can't get into these, edit these uneditable regions. They're locked. They're part of the template. Only this content region is editable on an individual page. But we can go to Modify, choose Template Properties, and it shows us all of the properties, the template properties that we made editable. And we can simply go through each one and set their values to what we want them to be for this particular page. It's like setting up more editable regions, but that are just for properties of HTML elements. So we're in the quotes page. So on that quotes page, we want the tab to look active. So I'm going to assign that class value, the value of, or, so I'm going to assign that class the value of tab active, 
and set the home tab to use the value of inactive for its class. And those are two class rules that I've already defined. We'll say OK. And you can see how on the quotes page, the underline here has gone away and it's been added to the home tab. We'll save that. Do the same thing on the contact page. Modify template properties. Make the contact use the value of tab active and make home and all the others use the value of tab inactive. OK. Save that. And as we preview in a browser, we see that we can jump between quotes and contact. And the look of the div changes to use those background images that were defined in the two classes, tab active, tab inactive. So that's how template properties can make Dreamweaver templates even more useful. And that's just one of the great things that you would learn in our three-day Dreamweaver class here at Accelerate Computer Training. You can see the rest of the course outline at AccelerateComputer.com. We look forward to hearing from you. Come check us out.